more and more people getting stocked up at Goodwill. Is that boding well for our economy or not so much? Also, a lot more security, even armed security in stores. Uh, medical system is in chaos. Dentist appointments being rescheduled for September. That is absolutely crazy. And one block in an ambulance cost one of our viewers $5,000. Let's talk about it. That and a whole bunch of other reports coming right up. Uh, welcome to the Poplar Report. I'm Steve Poplar. I'm an accountant by trade. And these are your updates that you guys are sharing about what you guys are seeing, where you are, and uh, your workplaces and insider information that you have, the conversation that you have. Please do keep on sharing that information with us. That's what makes this community uh, work, is uh, all of us coming together and helping each other out with what we know. Uh, so I appreciate that. Uh, you just uh, reply back to any one of these videos, make a comment on any one of these videos, and that gets it to the right place uh, by using the word update somewhere in your comment. Uh, before we dive in, we want to thank our sponsor, Genesis Gold Group. They help people who have retirement accounts, 401ks, IRAs, um, and they help you get out of stocks and bonds into gold, silver, and platinum coins physical coins or physical bars, however you want to invest, uh, metals that are yours, and when you take a distribution, you actually get your metals out of the bank. Uh, if you have questions about that or you'd like to find out some more information, there'll be a link at the end of the video. This is from JJ. I went to the Goodwill yesterday and it was busiest I have ever seen it. Think people are shopping for uh, at the cheap options where they can. That's right, Dollar Trees are getting busier and busier. Discount stores, even like Walmart's, getting a lot busier as well. And Goodwill stores and thrift stores. People are having to cut their budgets, but yet they still need to uh, get the things that they need. And so people are shopping at lower end stores uh, more and more. That really is telling you kind of what's going on out there time-wise. This is from a viewer in the metro area, uh, Twin Cities of Minnesota. I saw my primary care doc doctor three weeks to get an appointment. That's how long to get the appointment. Uh, primary care doctor uh, on March 18th. My problem was blood in my urine. My doctor uh, ran standard tests. No infection was referred to a urologist. The appointment is mid-July. It is called health care. And uh, we've seen this before. People with urgent situations are being scheduled months out to see specialists. Uh, it's like socialized medicine has come home to the United States. It's absolutely insane. Um, this is not how the system is supposed to work. Urgent cases are supposed to be seen urgently and not this far out. Uh, mother in southwest Idaho says, uh, went to a local grocery store chain that I rarely shop at due to high prices. Saw uh, two 15-foot freezer sections completely empty of product, not, to, not due to being broken, as they were actively attached to a freezer section filled with food. So, I mean, they were connected to it, right? Uh, so the air is still flowing between the sections. Uh, but they have two whole sections uh, being completely empty. Uh, one freezer end cap was completely filled with ice pops, too, uh, which is not a highly sought after product in March when it's still in the 40s and 50s temperature wise outside. I walked by the wrapping paper on one aisle, stopping because I thought the, the design was cute uh, for spring birthdays. Uh, it was 150 square feet of paper selling for $18.50. I thought it was a misprint, but all the rolls of wrapping paper had the same costs. Absurd. I will get my, my paper at Dollar Tree uh, always from now on. Of course, you can always get that from, um, you know, if it's holiday paper, like, a, you know, for Christmas, that kind of thing, getting them right after the holidays is for the next year is really a smart move there, too. Uh, Ginger in Colorado Springs says, uh, starting to see more security in stores. My Walmart now has several security guards. Went to another uh, town's tractor supply. Fully armed security was there. Uh, this has just transpired over the last week. Now, I remember when I was traveling through um, uh, Central America. Uh, we, uh, we were traveling through there, my dad and I, and we saw in El Salvador, it was like every single storefront. Now, this is before they, they had their big crackdown on crime. That's kind of what instigated it. People just finally had enough of it. And I remember being in a public bus station and there were, there were fully armed soldiers uh, in the bus station, right? Um, there was like five or six of them 
in a, in a clump and they were ready to defend that bus station with their lives. But I noticed that every single store in the bus station also had a security guard with a shotgun. It was just like, okay, so the five guys with uh, the five soldiers there, the stores don't believe that, that that's enough to actually protect their shops. So they also need to have armed security guards. And that's just kind of the direction the United States is going in. The more security you see, the more um, lack of faith you see the store owners have in the system. And the system is, well, it's not working. And uh, people are stealing so much from stores that they're shutting down stores and they don't even know what to do about it these days. Bacon Freak says, uh, went to a grocery salvage store in Amish country east of Worcester, uh, Ohio yesterday. The stock was very low. And we're seeing that with a lot of these discount stores. They, they get the excess, they get the bent and dents uh, from the stores, but the uh, stores are not, um, they're still trying to sell that stuff. If you notice that at stores, they're still trying to sell those bent cans and they're putting it in uh, people's orders like if you get an order for delivery, you're getting those bent cans because the pickers, they don't care uh, whether they're giving you a, a bent or dent can, right? Uh, so they're picking whatever, uh, whatever damaged cans that they have, right? And so uh, that's not getting to these, uh, these discount stores. Uh, so they primarily had sauces and salad dressings now that were dated for late 20 sec uh, 22 and early 23. Friends, it's 2024. Uh, one large size jar of Taster's Choice, Best Buy date, uh, July 2023, was $20, $19.95. So um, even now, of course, Best Buy dates are not expiration dates, as we, as we keep saying and everything like that. But still, the fact that uh, it's that expensive for stuff that's already out of date is kind of crazy. Ehide uh, in Mifflinburg, Pennsylvania. 2009 Hyundai uh, Santa Fe has been in the shop for over two weeks for it, uh, with at least another week to go for parts. We've been waiting on the on a starter all this time, so three weeks to get a starter uh, for Hyundai. Kenneth says uh, I went to an emergency center uh, in Texas a few months ago. Uh, had my wife outside out in a vehicle and could uh, walk, uh, no problem. The hospital wanted to move me uh, to go to the main hospital. I said, okay, went to walk outside. They said, no, we have an ambulance on the way. I thought at the time, whatever, but the hospital was a block away. The ambulance ride for one block was $5,000. And that's why we keep saying the medical system in the United States is broken. Uh, Bonnie says, uh, Frankfurt, Kentucky. Kroger again was, uh, by the vitamin department and asked the employee, where's all the stuff? I was told they got rid of one of the aisles and that aisle had stuff on both sides. A lot of the stuff was gone. And this is just kind of what we're seeing with this war on vitamins that we've started talking about. They want to get us off vitamins. They want to get us off supplements. They want us to get us onto prescriptions. They don't want us eating healthy food uh, and not needing the prescriptions. They don't want us eating, uh, taking supplements, uh, cheap supplements. Uh, to, to fix health problems, right? They want us buying these expensive uh, prescriptions. They want us to be uh, unhealthy. They want us to be uh, more pliable. That's why they're putting stuff in our drinking water and everything like that, right? Let me know down in the comments what you think about that. In D says, um, several weeks ago, went to the doctor and my blood pressure uh, there was 185 over 110. Um, just in case you're like me, not super familiar with all this stuff. The American Heart Association says, uh, their website says, 180 over 120, you should be calling 911. So 185 over 110 uh, is pretty darn close to that. Uh, but, you know, so they went to the doctor and that's where they, they saw the blood pressure. They sent me home in this condition. Then yesterday I went to the hospital here in South Carolina to have several tests run and they could do it uh, because my blood pressure was 175. Um, they couldn't do it because my blood pressure was 175 or 110. But then they sent him, uh, sent them home again in that condition. I'm old and in bad health and I have Medicare. They don't care anymore. I guess if I died, they would have just said, oh well. Um, and that's, that's concerning, isn't it? That's, that's, 
find good doctors best she can, but uh, they're getting to be uh, fewer and fewer and far between. Timothy says, my friend had their uh, dentist appointment that was scheduled for this week, got rescheduled to September due to staffing shortages. Uh, that is, you gotta, be, you gotta be your own advocate, right? You gotta be seeing if there's other uh, places you can take uh, your, your business to, uh, if, uh, if your doctors and providers can't provide for you. All right, friends, that's what I got for you. If you wanna get some more information from Genesis Gold, uh, there's a link right on the screen there. You uh, fill out the form and they'll send you an information packet. If you wanna check out another video from this channel, there's one right up there. I'll see you over there, or I'll see you guys later. Steve Poplar of the Poplar Report, out.